it. Is Dave's cock really as massive as we've all heard so much over the years? Oh, God, how embarrassing. <laughs> I, I could tell you. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. How do you want to answer this, Dave? God, it's just to put me on the spot. <laughs> You don't have to answer it if you don't want to. You do, though. You feel, are under oath. Let me remind you, sir, that you are under oath. I feel a little objectified. Um, wow. I mean, I don't know what you consider massive. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I like the question. It's just a game of perception. What? Is it really as massive <laughs> as, as we've as all it's, heard so much over the years? As the folklore goes, you mean? <laughs> You've hurt some girls. Yeah. Because it's so big. This came. This came in from Jess. By the way, that's my next documentary: the hunt for Dave's I'm curious. I I was curious. It's gonna be a a short, isn't it? (laughs) Oh, hey! Get it? All right. uh, So dumb. The the answer to the question is: I haven't had any complaints. Okay, that's fair enough, right? It's humble. Can neither confirm nor deny. I can confirm nor deny. But that's a bummer. Don't you want complaints? Like an ow or a it's hurting me a little bit? Believe me, it does it's not it's not great when you hear that. <laughs> I heard an owl once. No, you didn't. I heard an owl once. Yeah, but she rolled and over a, onto something. <laughs> it poked her in the eyeball. Let me finish this. A story. nail in her back. Oh God, you guys just killed my joke. Oh god, what was I it? was gonna say I heard an owl once and I got all happy and was smiling. She's like, No, no, no you're on my hair. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Just stole like the punchline. <laughs> good one, T. Yeah, well, it would have been good. <laughs> one joke, order up. <laughs> Fuck you and your tiny cock. <laughs> what are if you it talking was, about? And I'll tell you why I can discredit that myth. Because the pocket we're... Todd coming in with a zinger. The pocket we're talking about... <laughs> Was my shirt front pocket on a flannel? So if it could fit in there, yeah. it was the one that he got at a uh, <laughs> big and tall, big and tall, <laughs> tall store because he went through a phase where he was wearing like real Massive. drapey stuff. <laughs> my, it was, it was, it was my hip hop phase. Yeah, he wore it open, and it was a pocket. You could have fit eight of your dicks in it. <laughs> you could mine? fit a couple yeah. of Christmas one of yours, hands eight in of there. mine. That's right. Oh, I see what you did. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You okay. could fit eight of Dan's in there. You could fit twenty of my breasts in there. <laughs> Stack them flat. Yep. Like a pallet of Jess's tits. A Rolodex of Jess's tits. <laughs> Rolodex is two contacts. It's like when you when you stack coasters. <laughs> what are you I was talking about the thinness of the cards. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's like a wholesale Costco chicken cutlets. And look exactly. at Darren just smiling back there, like knowing he has the biggest cock in the room. Yeah. Although I think you I might know. have a little competition. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. With other people in the studio mm-hmm. tonight. Mm-hmm. Why do you suppose that that gentleman happens to have a black cock? Well, he has <laughs> what? A black cock. Black cock. Well, <laughs> based on the, I'm assuming, <laughs> I'm assuming that the color of his skin is pretty much around the same hue as Why his cock. Why would you assume that black dude has a black cock? <laughs> What makes you so sure that he has a black car? <laughs> Darren, is your cock black? <laughs> you don't know that he has doesn't have a vitiligo situation happening. We on don't just know that. that. Wait, yeah. What does vitiligo it's mean? It's the Michael Jackson cock. Thing. Oh. It's where the, it's it's skin, where the skin light pigment. loses pigment. I have that. Mine is like almost clear. <laughs> Translucent <laughs> cock. He just veins and like infrastructure. Yeah, exactly. Gross. <laughs> see it looks like we see a body worlds when yeah, you like, just see. It's the, like the invisible man when yes. you can get for science lab yeah. where it's like half of it as you can <laughs> see. But it's just Is it like dick. a fishbowl where you look in and the rocks are look really big? <laughs> it like uh, magnifies yeah. it. It gets magnified. That's the only way my dick will look big is inside a fishbowl. A hairless dick. <laughs> A clear, hairless dick. That's right, because it'll create a, a magnifying effect. <laughs> Bro, I got to write that down as an idea. Bro, what Note to co- self, get clear okay. dick. Bro, what color is your cock? <laughs> it's black. It's we black. knew it. Oh, it's so racist we, of you to assume we that. We should have put money on it. What a racist. I would have put all my money on that black guy having a black dick. Every penny I have, I would have bet on that. Aren't you so happy you're here for this? Oh That's like the time I said to you, you ever suck a man's dick? <laughs> what was that? As opposed to... As opposed Wait, to who did you say that to? On the radio. We said, I said it... Yeah. It was because... It was you, one of his best lines. You were in the gym, and you were in the locker room, and you were telling me you came out, 
and you were like, bro, I just had a weird experience in there. I go, what happened? Like, you looked like you <laughs> saw a ghost, like you were scared a little. Uh-huh. And you came out, and you're like, some guy was just hanging around, and, like, he had a huge fucking dick. So I, like, made a joke. I'm like, hey, you know, you might... You want to see a doc? You might want to see a doctor about that thing or something like that. And you were like, <laughs> he got all in your face, like, and grabbed him. And he was like, "Yeah, you ever suck a dick like that?" Like, <laughs> and you felt all violent. Oh, yeah, I got violated. <laughs> yeah, yes. I have a claim. Yeah, you have- no, no, because you started it. Yeah, you no, started. I, no, I say, hey, whoa, you want to see a doctor about that thing? That's starting it. You open the door That's for a abuse. compliment. <laughs> but I said it to you on the radio, in Darren. The- Okay. If somebody said that to you in the locker room about your dick in a joking manner, you would take it as a compliment, correctly? Right? Or as a sign of, I'm going to make this guy suck my dick yeah, right my now. my big old dick. What, what part are you hearing? <laughs> that it's a compliment or that I want to suck a man's dick? Compliment. Compliment. Mm, either way. Well, the, the, the way the story went. It's, it's a it's- trick question because there is no wrong answer. <laughs> It's a win-win for everybody. So I said it to you, and I said, you ever suck a man's dick on the radio? And you guys jumped all over me. What I meant by it was a real man's dick. Instead of a female's dick. <laughs> Not just a man's dick. Boy, I bet uh, Jeremy Corbell's fans are real glad they tuned in. Soaking wet right this now. Is, this is what this is the this show is the setup for the UFOs. My paranormal cock. <laughs>